Okay, moving into exam style questions now. We have to rationalize and fully simplify 2 over 1 plus root 3 um, minus 1 over 1 minus root 3. Now we'll be a bit clever with this. As I said to you before, I can see that one is bigger than that, so I'm going to write that as 2 over root 3 plus 1. Now here, it's 1 over the minus sign in there, remember? 1 over 1 minus root 3. Now this time I'll, I can change that to minus root 3 plus 1. Sorry, minus 1. Over 1. Okay, because that's minus, check this, minus root 3 is minus root 3 and minus 1 is minus 1 is plus 1. Then I can move that minus set up the top. Okay, it's rather nice, isn't it? Now, if that minus sign is at the top and you get a minus sign, that changes to a plus. So this is really like plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. Now, there's two ways of doing this. We could rationalize each, which is probably the safer way of doing it, or we could put over a common denominator. I'll do it both ways. Do the standard approach first. So that's 2 over root 3 plus 1 times root 3 minus 1 over root 3 minus 1 plus 1 over root 3 minus 1 times root 3 plus 1 over root 3. Just make sure these signs change. Okay, almost done. Now I'll leave the 2 out the front, 2 outside of root 3 minus 1 over. Now root 3 by root 3 is 3, so it's 3, and 1 minus 1, 1 times minus 1 is minus 1, so there's a 2 there. Now plus, and this becomes root 3 plus 1 all over. Now this becomes 3 minus 1, 2 again. Okay, so we've got this is all, all fine, common denominator. So all we need to do now is remove the brackets, and we get two root three minus two plus root three plus one, all over two, and that gives me three root three minus one over two, and I think that's probably the preferred method. Now the I'll just show you the other way. You could put over a common denominator of root 3 plus 1 times root 3 minus 1, which means you need to multiply this one by root 3 minus 1, so it'd be 2 outside of root 3 minus 1. And this one would be root 3 plus 1. All over these two multiplied together. And those two multiplied together, you can see, where it is, because this is the conjugate of the other one, it's just going to be 2. And we're back to where we had before, so this gives us the same result, 3 root 3 minus 1 over 2. It, this was easier this way, simply because these were the conjugates of each other. If that had been another number, like a, if we had a 2 there or something, then this would not be a good method. So I would say 90% of the time you should rationalize first and then perform your, your uh, fraction um, methods. All right, now this one, we have to show that 6 on 3 minus root 7 plus 1 on 8 plus 3 root 7 is a rational number. Okay, now I'll rationalize each of these. So I've got 6 over 3 minus root 7. And I'll multiply that by 3 plus root 7 over 3 plus root 7. And that will give me 6 outside of 3 plus root 7 over. And it's a 9 minus 7 is a 2. <coughs> Excuse me. I won't cancel this at the moment. I'll see what happens on this, on this side. This one's 8 plus 3 root 7 times 
8 minus 3 root 7 over 8 minus 3 root 7. Okay, that's going to give me 8 minus 3 root 7 over 8 eighths is 64. Minus now 3 threes are 9. And root 7 by root 7 is 7. So that's 63. So that's going to be just a 1 there. So because there's a 1 there, I now will come back and I'll cancel this one. So that gives me a 3 outside of 3 plus root 7, which is 9 plus 3 root 7. And this one was 8 minus 3 root 7. So when you add those two together, these will go out and you get the answer, which is 9 plus 8, 17, which is, of course, a rational number.